Hey guys, back to the Yankees and Red Sox. Now I have all my players, Jacoby, Dustin, Adrian, David, Kevin, Vladimir, Carl, Jason, uh, Veritek, and uh, Jed Lowry. They only have Brett Gardner, Robinson Cano, Mark Teixeira, Curtis Granderson, po George Posada, Derek Jeter, and Nick Swisher. They m are missing like four players. <sighs> Gonzalez had a day off yesterday, so and all my good players that needed it are had their day off, so hopefully I can get a day off for Euclid soon so they can get hot. Well, I mean like better. The Sevis is here. Oh, we got an injured umpire. <laughs> Oof! Right off his shoulder. First pitch. One o'clock. First pitch. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. Game time temperature just a tick under fifty this afternoon. Forty-nine degrees here at first pitch. Strike three. Mark Teixeira will stand in now. He homered in the ballgame last night. Yeah, a ball strike down in the zone. Nothing in one. Six with the fastball here as he forges ahead. 0-2. Oh, <laughs> you don't see a big bat pitch too often. But this will be a foul ball, and it's still 0-2. Just did get a piece of that one, so he stays alive here. Now a ball hit back up the middle, and Teixeira is going to reach. Mm -hmm. It's a base hit. Throw comes back in quickly, so put the runners at first and second now, still with only one away. Yeah, the number two and three guys come through with back-to-back -back hits here with one out the first. Now Kevin Russo, the third baseman now because of... Uh... Kevin Russo stands in as he... No! Strikes. Home run, Kevin Russo for three runs. I guess he's also on roids too. Four twenty nine average. Sweet. They definitely needed that one after the three-run home run. And don't get me wrong. He hasn't forgotten about it, but that's a good job of putting it behind you, getting back to the task at hand. And this lines up in Dang it, I can't get it in the now. zone anymore. Three runs already home here. There we and go. A good spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul. And this pitch is hit foul off to the left and out of play, so the count goes to two and two now. Two two pitch on the way. And he'll fight just to stay alive here as this is fouled away. And this ball is also hit foul and heading for the seat, so we'll have to do it again. Still two and two. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. Here's the full count offering. Swing and a grounder fouled, and that almost took the first base coach along with it, making him work out there. The 90 pitch of the at bat coming up. And he strikes him out of here, so he doesn't stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. 
Another look at the big blow for the Bombers. A three-run home run. The bottom of the first coming up is now 3-0 New York. Starting lineup for Terry Franco and his Red Sox is there on the mound. Who the won now? Cutting up a really slow start here in April. Maybe this can help him stamp out of it. That's a sharp thing. And the throw over the first. And dive, but he's back in. Oh, God. I want at least a solo home run by him. And how they pitch to him here in this first inning will be a good barometer of how they'll approach him this entire game. Swing and a hard hit ball towards the hole. And Gonzalez is going to have himself for a base hit. Whoops. Uh, uh. The Prasad is setting up away that time, but this pitch never You guys can't be crap, can you? When you leave pitches out over the middle, big league hitters know what to do with them. David Ortiz stand in hoping to turn things around from the loss last night. He was 0 for 4 in that ball game. Yeah. Good. Very enticing, but a good job holding up. That ball got him to swing through, and it's one and one. Oh, and he was barely able to hold back on that last pitch, but this time he just couldn't help himself. Put something off there, but this is hit well anyway out to deep center. Gone. Montano hit off the wall in left center. Around third and being waved on home. And they're not going to get him. He's in there at the plate. Well, this is the way you answer back here in the first. If Sweet. this inning is any indication, we could be in store for a wild one. Kevin Euclid will stand in. Comes off a hope for four in last night's ball game. First pick on the way. Oh, curveballs. Anytime you can get a big league hitter to look like that, you know you've thrown a great pitch. And a shot toward right center. Ooh, the touch the ground, right? And the runner at third will put Sweet. The on here. I thought it was out. Even with two out. I was about to and start I yelling. These guys would hate to have to have somebody up in that bullpen already, but... This is now four hits against him here in the first, and this fourth one was a rocket. Right. Vladimir Guerrero will stand in, back in the lineup after getting the night off yesterday. And that's swung on and missed for strike one. And these are important at-bats here because there's a chance to get to a young pitcher early and force that manager to get someone up in the bullpen. Oh, Jesus, I got so scared. I was like, oh, Jesus. I wish he just threw it over him. That'd be awesome. I would love it. Two home runs, seven RBIs for Swisher. No way. Pena on Kansas City has four home runs already this season. Jeter has one. Here's strike one now to Jeter, a guy who was a free agent in the offseason. Do you think there was ever a chance that he was going to leave New York? And a hanger as he gives this one a pretty good ride out to deep center. But that'll hit off the wall in left center. And he's in there easily at second with a one-out double. Ball pretty well struck, and that didn't miss a home run by very much at all. 
I can like give it wherever I want really. He still won't be able to make anything I hope. But this will wind up a foul ball, strike two. Now he takes something off there as it is skied out to fairly deep center field. Elsberry back to the track as he takes it for out number two. Oh, and it's over his head. Brett Gardner will step in. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Fastball in there for a cold strike. And even though you've had a two run lead, you don't want to be leaving. Dive! Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Dive it, and you would have had a chance of hitting this over with. I'm trying to do too much that time. This ball just had eyes as it finds the hole in the right to drive home that run. Robinson Cano is next as he finds himself behind yes. 0 and 1. He changes up on him here as this is popped high in the air toward the right side of the infield. And Adrian will put this one away without incident, and the inning is over. A run on two hits for the Yankees. Paul uh, Pumper will stand in. He took on a silver slugger award for American League outfielders a year ago. And he holds the fastball that time high in the air toward fairly deep right. Oh, center. I thought that would be a home run. It looked Winter. like it was gone. Take this one and the bottom of the Whatever. second starts with a one pitch out. The one gone now for the Sox captain, the switch hitting backstop Jason Veritek. And a half-hearted swing there as he tried to go the other way, and it's strike one. And that's not, that is not good. Now he swings. No way! No possible way! Oh my god. This is bull. Well, right back at to him. Okay, okay, I'll get it. I, you, I can get it easy. Fucking A. Hey. That's a nice play right there. Jet Lowry will get his first opportunity now. First pitch of the AB is swung on and lifted in the air to straightaway center. Well, he can't crack it down as this ball falls. <sighs> well, you can't fault the pitch location here. Have a look. They know he has trouble with the ball down, but he's decent with an old game. That's just good hitting. Mind in the left center. Elker is the board with Go the two. Dustin Roy is a next over one ball. And here's the ball lifted high into foul ground down the right field line. And no one can track this one down. I changed things up on him and he got him to swing through it one and two now. The one thing you don't want to do with a young pitcher out there is let him work out of this and build some confidence. And Pedroia behind it a bit as he grounds this one to second. And the throw to first will be in time for the Red Sox come up empty, and the inning is over. Mark Teixeira ready to go here as we begin the third. Swinging on the first pitch as this is hit out to Pedroia at second. Freaking himself by that. The leadoff man is gone to start the third. Kevin Russo can get another shot to do some damage. He had the three-run homer his first time around. Almost hit another one. And that swung on and fouled straight back. Now here's the pitch. Swing and a miss here as he's down on strike. Three. Two up, two down to begin the third. The so two down in the inning for Curtis Granderson. Swing and the ball headed towards the hole. Great down. So we'll go to Adrian at first, and with it, the side is retired. So the Yanks go one, two, three, as they hold on to a four to one lead. First pitch here is reached for and hit on the ground to third. So the first is in time for the first down. So one down in the end now is that brings in the dangerous David Ortiz. Back. Four to one is our score here in inning number three. 
Now a check swing, but he holds up in time. Ball one. Boy, he wanted to reach for that one, but wisely thought better of it. There's a swing and a ball lifted to left, but back in the seat, out of play. It's one and two. Now here's the pitch. Oh, it's way out. Why did I swing? That's a goner. Hit the pole. What? There is a pole. That hit the pole. There's the ball right here. Coming in right on that line on people. Pisses me off. That hit the pole too. Whenever it hits the pole, it's a home run. That's the rule. Yeah, you went through. Oh! That was awesome. Swisher with two home runs, seven RBI. So he had a three run home run and a grand slam, is what I'm thinking. That's a good start here. Now, ball line hard toward right center. There's two down. I like the Sevens. He's doing good. And I better not jinx myself. You're looking at a guy who hasn't had a whole lot of breaks go his way so far in this one. But I, I think he might have gotten one here because this ball is smoke. Not quite enough, though, to get it out of here. Oh, and one and one is this one's in on the hand. And that curveball just hasn't had as good a snap as we're used to seeing. And the fastball here is hit on the ground but foul. The pitch. Takes a good swing, but this will be a foul ball. Line to left. And a dive in left, but he can't get it. It'll get by him toward the wall. Throw into second. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. And he's doubling his pleasure here already. Two and Sweet. so far, and now two doubles. He looks like he's seen the ball pretty darn well. But a foul ball here, 0-1. Oh, oh. Outside for a ball, 1-1. One and, one. and that curveball just has not been that effective for him early on. He just can't seem to find the handle on it. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. But this is back into the seats, a foul ball. And a fastball. There we go. Around first digging for two now. 
Yes. shows one. Well, he gets you out there, but he got missed a little bad. The guys are really putting together some good swings against him so far. Come on, baby, drop. Keep going then. Sir, we got one more. One more. No more runs. It's in the fourth. Try my best to have a seven go as long as possible. I'll put him until the 7th or 8th. Probably about 3 seconds. Yeah, it's about to get active. If he makes the ball. Nope. Strike. Yes, again. Sick. Two are gone here in the inning for Mark Teixeira. 
And there's strike one now to a guy who's off to a pretty good start these first couple of weeks. <laughs> a very good start. Already four home runs here, and we're just getting going. Like that. Fans were, we were sitting when we went down, pretty much. And there is Adrian Gonzalez. He'll lead things off here in this one-run contest. Oh! Ball get hard on the ground at first. Man, Gonzalez is not having a good game. David Ortiz will dig in. One for two with a double in this one. Foul back. So he's putting it inside this time, so it most likely go inside again. Now the pitch. Nope. Nope, he went up high. And this is fouled back and out of play. I think he's going to go outside. Nope, he's going to go up high. Damn it! Curve. He always has that curve. Oh, and two. It was flat on deck and two outs. This is definitely the guy you want right here. No! will stand in, and as he does, we'll flash you back to the first inning of the ball game. A three-run shot had him off and running right out of the gate. And the first pitch here is pulled on the ground to third. Throw to first gets it, so the leadoff man... There's one down. The you talk about rising from the ashes. There was a while there when he seemed to be hanging on by a thread, but he's showing good fortitude to stick around, and that's Sixth. five in a row he's retired now. No, I don't want him. Get back down. Uh, Wheeler, just in case. Action now in that Boston bullpen is the veteran right-hander Dan Wheeler's cranking it up. Curtis Granderson stands in as he looks at bowl one here. And he's yet to extend that six-game inning streak at the plate, so he's down to his final few at-bats. Fastball at 88 that time, a ball and a strike. Now a swing, and here's another chance down there at third. On the first, and the stretch over there is going to get him by a step for the second out. Not only is this a great play just to get to the ball, but then to throw a strike the first for the out. That is pretty. Here's a swing, and how about this? A third straight chance down at the hot corner. And a low throw with some fine dirt work there by Gonzalez. Glad Carl Jason. Vladimir Guerrero will in to lead off the next half inning. And there is Vladimir Guerrero to lead it off as we start the home six. Oh, this is gone. Come on, baby. Oh, he's on the fucking warning track. That was so close. How long is that warning track home run? 379 feet? That's what I hit at, uh, not me, but J.D. Drew hit it. And Drew hit it just last game. So they're looking like they want to go up high. Now they go, ooh, it's a good thing he pulled back. And this is a guy that can run into one every now and then, so he can't be taken lightly, especially in only a one-run game. And that swung out and fouled straight back. And now pitch on the way. And he'll try to hold back the swing, but he'll do so unsuccessfully as that's ruled a strike. Throw to first take care of him, for out number two, as he's retired on the foot out, two to three. Come on, baby, drop. Keep going that. Damn it. Nick Swisher will start things out when we come back. And it remains a 4-3 game. Nick Swisher is at the plate as he watches ball one. Yeah, it looks like you're going to try to milk one more inning out of him on the mound. And a fastball that's lifted the other way out to left. 
Therefore, it's Crawford, one gone. One gone here in the Yankee seventh. And in steps Derek Jeter. Grounded foul. And this is swung on and bounced on the ground to third. There to get it is Yuki. Throw on to first, and Jeter is sent down for the second out of the inning. So quickly, two away now for Andrew Jones. First pitch fastball, swung on, and missed going one. And even though he's been sharp on the mound, I'm guessing he may need some help from that bullpen before this one is said and done. Uh, this will get foul for strike two. And a tough pitch on two strikes as he's able to foul it off. And he can't put him away on 0-2 as this is lined back into center field for a base hit. Rick Gardner will step in. A ground out pick from his left hand. Sliced hard down the left field line. And that's going to be a fair ball as Crawford scurries to get there. And he'll get in there safely at third. Second and third now with two gone. Well, you'll see how late he is on this fastball. I mean, he nearly takes this out of the catcher's glove, but somehow he's able to steer it fair down the line and screws it in with a double. Boy, a mid-80s fastball that time, but it's a cold strike one and one. And to get the key here is this ball fouled away. Four runs, eight hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off and it's back to even at two and two. Pitch in the dirt is swung on and missed, so he'll need to get the force to first. Throw to first is in time, though, so the drop third strikes up and hurt him as his side is retired. Chet Lowry will start things off for the Red Sox with the top of the order. Jacoby Ellsbury to follow. I uh, couldn't quite hold back that time as the changeup pulled him for okay. strike one. Here it comes. And this is high, a ball and a strike. Some activity after the bullpen now as a couple of left-handers begin to stir. He tried to get that one airborne, but it's one and two. And this is how he's worked his way through eight straight guys. They just keep chasing pitches out of the zone. Check swing, no swing, says the home plate umpire, ball of two. Yeah, almost strike three, but I don't think he broke the wrist, so that's a good call. And it goes the other way with a fastball, as this is hit high and deep out to straightaway left. But that'll hit off the wall in left center. And he'll get in at second base Woo. as the time runs aboard with a leadoff double. Oh, man. That Larry's was hidden like he should be. Game, you'll see on the replay, this You're thing just doesn't quite get out of here. The winds up mainly off the wall for two bases. A new pitcher to tell you about here as they turn things over to the lefty specialist Pedro Feliciano. Jacoby Ellsbury started to go around, but it's a called strike, 0 and 1. Goes down and gets it as this is bounced too short. Throw not in time, but he's in there with his third hit of the afternoon. Ooh. Well, they made the move to go to the left. I don't think this is the man who can catch the ball. That's right, the guy who's at third is able to go. I mean, second. Oh, maybe not. Dang it. I wish he did. Oh. No, it's so cold everywhere else. Larry's hurt.
while the player second runner back safely. Double barreled action in the Yankee bullpen now. A lefty and a right hander start to get moved. And he gets some pretty good wood out of here as this is lifted to fairly deep left. Gardner back to the warning track though as he gloves it for the second out. Darn it, we have batter, uh, ba base runners, but we just can't get it. And this is fouled back and out of play. Euclid is actually getting better than when he is. Or meaning has been doing. From yesterday. And this ball will be chopped foul. Four runs, 12 hits, and no errors for the Red Sox to this point. Line hard to center field. That's in there, face hit. And they go at the line with two. Woo! Yuki's hitting like he should be. We got another guy coming in. Missing in the light. Missing in the light. Dang it. The catch and the side is retired. So it's two runs on four base hits. No errors and a couple of men left on. Marco Sudero is into the ball game as the defensive replacement. He'll be the new shortstop here. First baseman Mark Teixeira will get us going now in the top half of the eighth. Dan Wheeler will be summoned from the ball game now. Dan Wheeler. 4.82 ERA, 9.1 innings pitched. Exactly what I wanted from Dan. Wow. Go Dan Wheeler. Jesus Christ. Exactly what we wanted. Jason Veritek will stand in. He flew out his last time up. 
Now a swing, and here's another ground ball. This one over to second base. Throw in time to get Baratek at first, and there I shoot away. Marco Sudula gets in now. on the ground, but foul. <laughs> Two out, nobody on. And that swung on and fouled straight back. So, <laughs> we're doing quite good. Foul back. Here we go. Wow, straight back. Jesus Christ. The same spot. No, he's going to pitch it down. Now here's a swing and a ground ball. Didn't I say he was going to pitch it down? And that ends the inning. Exactly. So they're held in check here this half of the inning. Catcher Jorge Posada will stand in, needing to get things started here in the top of the ninth. What am I doing? Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken. Cap a bond! No, get back up! Jonathan Kappelbond is on now to try to close things down here in the ninth. Now a swing and a ground ball back up the middle. Throw on the first one, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Nick Swisher will try again. 0 for 3 thus far. In there at the knees, strike one. But as a play, he's just 1 for 7 in the series, so he's in a bit of a cold spell. And a fastball way off target here, and it's even at 1. And he looks at going in there, 1 and 2. And if he can come in here and start putting that pitch in that location, ain't nobody going to touch him. Good hard splitter, but it misses 2 and 2. Get softly to the right side. A good cross to Papelbon is in time for the out of first. Derek Jeter will step in now. Now go ahead down the line. Nope. Foul. What? Yeah, and Euclid wasn't off the foul pole. Whatever, fuckers. One down. Four hits is all I need. Justin Segura will stand in now. We'll see what they do about perhaps getting that winning run to second. Now ball rolls slowly down the third baseline. Throw on the first inside. Wish it was foul. Adrian Gonzalez will have a shot going to bring that winning run in. We'll see if they decide to go after him or not. <laughs> and that swung on and fouled straight back. The 0-1. He broke the plane, and yes, he did. No. Strike. No! <laughs> this is scary, guys. Boys, that's a big punch out there. Now, with two away, you can work on just getting one more out and extending this. David Ortiz, come on, David. Definitely the guy you line up in this spot. 
Fuck. One down. You're out, son. Ooh, curveball again. These guys really know that curveball Yukos hates. Peter's so lucky. Dang it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Second, but the go-ahead runs in scoring position. There's still nobody out. 
Nick Swisher stands in as he can't connect here. 0 and 1. Tenth moment now here in the 11th. That ball is quickly in the hole, 0 and 2. Down the mound, you can tell he's not in here to mess around. He needs business. And we will loop down to put this one away. Good job of hanging with it there for the first down. Uh, I thought that one might finally get him into the hit column. It was certainly hit hard enough, but no such luck. Maybe this is his day after all. And there's the fastball to start the at bat as Papabon takes charge 0 and 1. Now a swing and a high fly ball, and this one has some carry on it to deep right field. Guerrero back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two guys. Yes! Beginning. First pitch swinging here is this is on the ground for the second baseman to know. Throws in time and that's right. number one. That's all right. We still got Jacoby and uh, Dustin and. Ball here is swung on and grounded foul. Pitch on the way. And a swing and a miss there by Elsberry as he's down nothing in two now. And he's just throwing darts now. They have not been able to pick him up. And a good idea to hold off on that swing. It's ball one. And he just did hold up in time there. He may very well see that pitch again. Now the pitch. Foul back. Swinging a hard hit ball back up the middle. And that finds its way into center. For a There's one pitch. down. It's gone, Dustin Pedroia! Dustin! Yes, baby! Woo! Oh, sweet! Jacoby, Jesus. But Dustin easily should be the uh, big home run winner. Five hits in a damn game by fucking Ellsbury. That's crazy. And that was a triple or a double right there. I think it was a double. Yeah, it was a double. He stole about three bases. There it is right there. Two runs, five hits, six at bats, one double. Uh so see you later guys and thanks for watching. Four Yankees Red Sox coming up next.